Orgonomy and Schizophrenia, an unpublished case report by Wilhelm Reich, by Pierre F. Walter and published by Series C Media Galaxy, LLC, New Walk, Delaware, 2007, ISBN 10 1933 ISBN 13 978-1933-137-056 Introduction It is of particular interest to have a closer look at schizophrenia, a look that disregards both the clichés of the past and those of our times. While in the past psychiatry was reductionist in recognizing only physiological reasons for mental disease, this has changed in the meantime, at least as far as the neuroses are concerned. As early as in 1939, Carl Jung writes in his article on the psychogenesis of schizophrenia, I quote, there is little doubt nowadays about the psychogenesis of hysteria and other neuroses, although 30 years ago some brain enthusiasts still cherished vague suspicions that at bottom there was something organically wrong even with neurosis. But the consensus doctorum in their vast majority has admitted the psychical causation of hysteria and similar neurosis. End of quote. While for a large number of psychiatrists this view is still valid today, Wilhelm Reich, as early as in 1945, achieved complete healing of a schizophrenic woman using bioenergetic or, as Reich termed it, orgonotic treatment. Many a reader, and certainly mental health professionals, know about the groundbreaking work of Ronald David Lane and other alternative psychiatrists of our times on the treatment of schizophrenia. However, small is the number of individuals who have noticed that Wilhelm Reich's research and mental health treatment approach by far preceded those much more well-known and acclaimed methods. In fact, Reich achieved remarkable results with simply redirecting the patient's orgonotic energy flow. Reich's schizophrenia treatment seems revolutionary, however only in the eyes of Western torture psychiatry. For those who, like me, have had a deeper look into Chinese medicine, acupuncture and the energetic principles of feng shui, Reich's holistic science approach and his cancer biopathy appear logical, systemically sound and effective. The misunderstandings about Reich, the campaigns against him during his lifetime, the burning of his books after his death, and the subsequent hagiophrenia of Reichian circles, all this shows to which extent this great scientist was taken for what he never was, a mystic, a saint, an exalted genius, or worse, as somebody who has set up a kind of religion. The truth about Reich is as easy and as difficult as the quest for truth about life itself. Most people in our culture are ignorant and have been held ignorant by first the ecclesiastical and today the economic power structures of a highly manipulatory society that regards the individual as a mere function holder but not as a fully enlightened spiritual unit with full access to power, knowledge and wisdom.